Hey guys, we've been used here, and today we are back with yet another video. And today we're going to be checking out a little goodie two shoes. I want to give a huge thanks to Astral Shift and Square Enix for partnering with me on this video. I was actually really looking forward to this game even before they reached out to me. One of my mods had sent me the trailer for it, and it looked super duper interesting. And right up this channel's alley, really. It's like a mixture of kind of like cutesy 90s art aesthetic with like a creepy horror vibe. The game is releasing on on October 31st, 2023, and it'll be releasing on Switch, Xbox Series S and X, Steam, and on PlayStation 5. And yeah, I will have a link in the description if you guys would like to check out this game and learn more about it for yourself. It's a horror narrative RPG, and basically it's about this girl who lives in this kind of like medieval looking kingdom, and she wants to have a life of fortune. And it seems like the kingdom is next to this forest that has a lot of like I guess maybe creepy or occult things in it. And so I think you go into the forest and you might work with stuff there in order to help her gain a life of fortune and riches. And at the same time, the kingdom she lives in is very paranoid about witches existing. And so you kind of have to balance like working with the creepy occult creatures, I assume that live in the forest and convincing the town that you're not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they'll kill you if they think you are one. But yeah, it seems pretty interesting. Like I said, it seems right up my alley and this channel's alley. So I figured we could go ahead and check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this video enough, we can maybe turn it into a series. So please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. And thanks once again to Astral Shift and Square Enix for partnering with me on this video. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we go. Oh, the art's so pretty. I love it. I love this aesthetic, like the 90s anime aesthetic. It's kind of interesting to see it with a horror narrative, too. Oh. Like an anime intro. Okay. This reminds me of like another series one of my mods showed me, too. I'll have to double check the name of it, though. It's like a music video series, like Milgram. <laughs> but it's like, I feel like the art kind of reminds me of that series, too. So it also has kind of like the... Very cutesy aesthetic, but very messed up content. Okay, she seems like she's magical or something. Oh my god, they're like the Powerpuff Girls. Green, blue, red. I know he mostly plays the girl in red. I assume these will be like our friends. Oh okay, yeah, here's the creepy ass forest. Oh my god, I love the moon. Why is there so much of Sailor Moon too? <laughs> I always think of that show when I think of like this kind of art style. Ooh, yikes. Guess it might be pretty easy to die in the forest. Little goody two-shoes! Yay! Okay, I'm excited! Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and start it. Okay, another cinematic. Get the Shrek storybook intro. Long ago. The tale of little goody two-shoes. Once upon a time, in the heart of a remote valley, an elderly woman ventured deep in the woods in search of mushrooms. <laughs> she was trying to get high. When all of a sudden she heard a loud cry in the distance. Okay. My goodness! Lord, so pretty. Aw, oh, she just found her? Okay. Cradle inside a rope basket was a cheerful baby girl. So we don't know where this girl came from, do we? Sketch. Oh my, what do I do? Worry not, my dear. Aw, oh, she's so cute, though. I'll name you Elise. Aw, uh, she's a cute little baby. And so, Holly and Elise spent their days together in the village of Kieferberg. Aw, uh, she's so adorable. Even if we don't know where she came from. <laughs> she could be the daughter of Satan, for all we know. As both grew closer, so did their love for one another. Look, Granny, look! Foo, well done, Elise. Oh, I like this little storybook uh, I said that they got going on, too. Not all bliss lasts forever, and as time went by, uh, she probably passed away, right? The grandma. I had a little doll on her bed, too. Yeah. So did Holly's. I was, I thought that too when I first saw her. I'll take care of you. I'll do whatever it takes, Granny. Don't cry, my love. 
You've always want, said you wanted it. I'm sure you'll cherish it. Foo! Aw. Granny! I love you, Elise. Oh, no! Oh, that's so sad. I was wondering, though, when I first saw her, I was like, how long will she be able to realistically take care of her, you know? Thank you for granting my only wish. Aw, sad. Damn. She looked pretty young, too, when Holly passed away. Damn. Don't forget to turn on your lantern. Oh, yeah! Okay, I was like, the graphics do look so much like a uh, Maple Story during these uh, little wood parts. I remember seeing that in the trailer, too. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. For goodness sake! Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Is this girl gonna. Has she got Kazuna voice vibes? <laughs> I don't wanna curse you already, though. I just met you. Probably needs like a little bit of sass. I don't know if I should give her full blown Kazuna, though. Maybe just a little, little hint of Kazuna. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elise. Sweep my floors, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. Oh, I'd show them. <laughs> After I say a hint of Kazuna, I just go full Kazuna. <laughs> I'd make them scrub my pots, my pans, and my shoes even. Okay, she's kind of like working as a maid to make money. God, that's so sad. She really did have to become an adult so quickly because she looked young when grandma passed away. Have them wipe down all my windows. Every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch me some water. Better yet, I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elise all day. Uh, oh, if only I were rich. I feel you, girly. <laughs> Relatable. All the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match. Ah, oh, there was only something I could sell my soul to in this forest for that to happen. And maids, all the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. <laughs> I feel like she was trying to bait some spirit. If only, spirit, come take me away, please. Please. Like, girl, do you hear, like, rumors about this forest or something? I feel like you're being kind of obvious. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elise. Okay, a new person. Oh, for goodness sake. Is this one of our girlies? Our friends? Oh, no. Old man. On your way home, lass. What are you doing wandering around in the dark, Elise? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wondering about Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elise. <laughs> If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already had you not stopped me for an earful. Come now, Elise. We've got good reason to worry. All this vigilance for what? <laughs> what am I to be afraid of? The witch? Oh, there is a witch living in the forest. Okay, maybe the witch can give us powers. No wonder she was screaming about that beforehand. If only somebody could give me magical powers so I could... Kill people and steal money <laughs> and get bitches, if only. Watch your words, Elise. You're not to question such matters. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Heinrich. No more detours, Elise. It's for your own good. Unless they come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Okay. What are these guys are? Are they just like... I don't know, townsfolk? I don't work for them, right? Oh, I can't stand these folks. It's so true, bestie. Okay, run, menu, interact, Z. Okay, cool. I wonder what all I can interact with. New objective, find your way home. Oh, hey, I got a match? Oh, and coins. I wonder what the match does. Okay, I can click on this thing. Ah, schwa. Schwa? This thing's so faded, I can't read it. Left, <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Right, Primerldorf, up, Kieferberg Peaks. We live in Kieferberg, right? So, I think that was where Grandma said we were living. I think I saw um, online that the game is supposed to be eight to 10 hours. I think it has like 10 endings too, so quite a lot of different paths you can take, it seems like. Oh, hey, another one. <laughs> of course it's broken. 
Pine tree this, pine tree that. Everything's about pine trees around here. Right, Kieferberg viewpoint. Left, Kieferberg peak. Can I look at the city first? Okay, never mind. I best not wander about too far. We can go this way. Okay, giant ass grapes, man. Oh, hey, what's this? Shiny. There we go. Item, get acquired one grape. Oh, yay, that's dinner tonight. One whole grape. I guess it might be these big ass grapes in front of me. <laughs> maybe that, maybe that makes it enough. Okay. Whew, the wind. For goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. Guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Which kind of reminds me of, um, oh, hey. Oh my goodness, little birdie. Hey buddy, you gonna be my little buddy? Make sure you use up all your save slots to avoid too much backtracking. Okay, it's just a save point. Oh, I thought I was gonna be like my little buddy. Can I sing to you in the trees and shit? You brought me a little rose too? Aw, you're just my best friend. My best friend in the whole world. Okay, I guess this is my house. I guess I just live in the woods. What in the Lord's name? Oh, oh man, somebody busted in. What the Lord's name happened here? I gotta find my matches. Matches really just gonna be used for lighting uh, candles? Oh, thank goodness they didn't touch Granny's spinning wheel. Aw, I gotta find my tinder box and light a fire. It's too dark to tell what happened here. This might be like in a room or something. But I wanna click on things. It's no use going in the pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. Girl, you got one whole grape. So I think that's I think that's enough. I'm not leaving until I make sense of what happened here. Oh. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh no! <laughs> I was too scared! Okay, wait, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm so used to dying when a jump scare happened. From playing FNAF, I was like, oh god, I just accepted death. I really was gonna have to press something. What was that thing? I, was I dreaming or? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, cool. It's been a long time since I've gone to Granny Holly's room. Not that there is anything to see there anyhow. Oh, damn, that's so sad. What was I thinking leaving it here? Okay, I'm acquired. Tinderbox. I gotta light the fire now. I was like, did I hear something? <laughs> okay, nice. Preserve your matches. Light your lantern using matches. Be careful not to waste them. Okay, so that is what the matches are for. I guess it makes sense. In like a horror game, it's like, of course they would limit the amount of light you can use. Just like, you know, in FNAF 1 where it's like you got the flashlight, but you can't, you know, be using it all the time. So much for St. Walpurga's protection. I ought to have thrown you out long ago, lassie. Palms join in prayer. The wooden statue of St. Walpurga grants protection to the faithful. Okay. So like they're a god or a goddess in this universe, I guess? There we go. As I can see all the footprints what in the back is this? back of the house. Oh, uh, you can see the handprint too. Good grief. What if it was that witch the townsfolk have been going on about? I know the witch is a homie. I just know she's a homie. No, keep it together, Elise. It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna become a witch. Not going anywhere without my broom. You're gonna be looking like a witch, girly pop. Taking your broom with you. <laughs> Let me just fly on my broom across the forest to find the witch. <laughs> that won't be weird or suspicious at all. It's like, girl, you plan on fighting her with it? Like, what's the plan? I wonder if she gets fatigued from running, running too much, too. I guess we'll see when I'm running from <laughs> a witch. Okay. Ooh, see some shadowy figure. It's probably just a scarecrow, though, right? <laughs> right? Okay. Ooh, what the? Oh yeah, it is a witch. There you are, you. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, I think in the intro there was a character that kind of looked like a witch too. Duh. <laughs> she is gonna be a homie, I knew it. 
Shameless thief. Out with it. Give me back all you took. Uh, right? Hurry it up. Now. Oh, she's so small. Wait, please. Please, for, forgive me. Oh, poor thing. Looks like her witch hat is made of like hay or something. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. This. Explain yourself, you wretch. What are you doing in my house? Wait, please, don't hit me. I was just hiding. There were these men, and I... Oh, I guess it's was probably the men from before, right? I won't ask you a second time, a thief. Hurry it up. Give me back everything you took right now. I didn't take anything. I was like, girl, you trashed my place for sure. I was, I was just scared. Please, I beg you. Huh. Oh, yeah, it is made out of hay, isn't it? Damn, she's like a poor witch, isn't she? I guess she's like the daughter of like the main witch or something. And they're scared of something, so I'd assume that they would be scared of like an actual powerful witch that lives in the forest. But I guess granted, you know, back in the day when people really did believe in witches, they would just like kind of let their imaginations run wild, you know? A woman could just be like outspoken. They were like, burn, burn her, burn the witch. Show me your hands. Oh, but I... I didn't take anything, ma'am. Uh -huh. Shimmy your pockets and make it quick. I guess we really check if she stole anything. Oh, I'm telling you, I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds. What are you doing up here in the mountains? Oh, I'm that's... a traveler, ma'am. Okay, is she really just a traveler? She's not a witch. Just the hat kind of made her look like a witch. Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? Oh, yeah. It'll be kind of nice for at least to have somebody else, though, since you lost your grandma. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could rest for the night in this village, but I saw some people walking in the woods. It frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Okay, they weren't chasing her, at least. I guess she just got scared. Mm. Be that as it may, you're still... I... Oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Oh, shush it. Would you stop calling me that? I'm like the same I'm age sorry. as you. I'm, I'm sorry. For goodness sake. Hmm. All right, well. I might let you go if you can prove your innocence, that is. Oh, I don't that's... know what else I can do, ma'am. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. And then you can... I'm sorry. Um, ma'am? I did it. Yeah, that's it. Uh... I'm made. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm one step closer to being rich, bitch. Slay. Listen carefully now. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. I didn't even go in half these rooms. No, no, no. You definitely did. <laughs> Start like gaslighting her, basically. And that'll teach you not to go storming out in strangers' homes. I like Elise. She's funny. I'm sorry. I, I man. Uh, Complaining already, are you? Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can uh, do? Yes. Oh, uh, of course. I'll gladly do it, ma'am. Uh. <laughs> Good. And in exchange, I suppose you can stay here or something. But no more thieving. <laughs> I am not a thief, ma'am. I always don't even know her name. Huh. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me, and I'll give you a place to stay, and you will get no payment because <laughs> I have nothing. I'll give you like a quarter of a grape, though, maybe sometime. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? Um, it does sound fair, ma'am, and it's very kind of you, but <laughs> I am not a thief. <laughs> Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? I'm sorry. Uh, you, you don't. I, I apologize. All right. My name's Elise, and you best remember it. Yes. Um, yeah. Do you have a name? I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Okay. A little cutscene for her. Rosen Marine. Selenic Wanderer. How does she even make a hat, hat out of hay? That seems like a, a talent in and of itself. My name's Rosa Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elise. I don't know if they're just trying to trick us, honestly, with the whole, like, witch-ish costume or not. It does definitely look like a witch hat. She's got kind of like a voodoo doll on her, too. Either way, though, she seems cool, so it's for all good. Oh, my God, for goodness sake. Just Elise is fine. It's like her catchphrase. <laughs> for goodness sake. Come now. You have a lot of work to do. <gasps> yeah, of course. Okay. Fated encounter. Discover the thief inside the granary. I guess, um, it seemed like there was, like, a priest girl, too. I guess we'll become friends with her later as well. 
That was all from her, man. How could you even do all this? Look at my floors. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You don't have to be so mean to her. I feel like you bitched her enough, girl. <laughs> even Granny's plates shattered to pieces. Okay, that's pretty bad. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe you deserve the right to bitch a little bit. I'll, I'll give you that. What are you, a wild boar? I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls, too, while you were at it. Uh, All right. Well, you know what you did. Anyway. Anyhow, here, take this. Oh, gosh. Now she looks even more like a witch. God, I hope we don't send her into, like, the city because they're definitely going to burn her. Make sure you get into every nick and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. I want to wipe that stain off my wall and wash all my windows and give me a foot massage later right. and make me some wine. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow. Understood? <gasps> of course, ma'am. And I told you to quit calling me that. <sighs> I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Come now. Let me show you to the well out back. She seems so timid, oh, uh, Rose and Marine. I... Oh, um, I can do it myself, Elise. Anything to make for make up for what I've done. <laughs> Look here, Lassie. I have no good reason to trust you. I, I didn't mean to. God, Elise is so on edge. I guess I kind of get it, you know? She's got, like, nobody. She lost the only person in her life who she had. She's really popping off on Rose and Marine. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once, and I'll be having a word with the townsfolk. Yeah. Are we clear? Yes, Elise. I'm sorry. I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me either. I have a Sunday mass to attend tomorrow. I was like, why is this game called Little Goody Two Shoes? Like, at least it doesn't really seem to be a little goody two shoe. She seems kind of like a hard ass so far, <laughs> honestly. Hmm. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elise. I can talk to her some more if I want, I guess. It's best I leave her be. I just gave her quite the earful. Is something the matter, Elise? No, it's nothing. I wonder if she'll let her use her grandma's bed. Or just, you know, you don't get to sleep, slave. You're gonna be making up this incident to me for the rest of your fucking life. As you should. Uh... Now you've done it, Elise. I'd be kind of scared, honestly, to go to bed with a stranger in my house, though. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous? Or mm. worse, even. What if... She's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about. Her design definitely makes her look like a witch. And what would Granny Holly do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. Okay. Bedtime. Oh, hey, do I get to have dreams? Actually, this might be like a mini game. I got hearts and bread. Oh, actually, oh, it's probably like I have to keep her hungry, her hunger and stuff satisfied. Mm. It's morning already. Uh. I can't be late for Cindy Mass or Father Hans will. Uh. You can't be serious. Good grief! What was I thinking? Uh. She's probably taken everything I own by now. I was thinking, obviously, Rosen, she seems like pretty sweet and like chill and stuff. So I don't think she's actually gonna rob us. But I was kind of like, I don't know if I would really want to be like going to sleep with like a stranger in my house. Like they could just steal everything or like stab me in my sleep. But I'm just paranoid, I guess, too. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta check this bitch. Manage your normal food and key items through the menu. Oh yeah, do you feed her her grape? You can consume and use items through the item menu as well. Key items. Okay, normal items. Food items. Okay, cool. So, plus one bread. Plus one heart and bread. Okay, nice. The grape is really good then. Should I save this, actually? Because she's probably going to lose, like, one bread every day, right? I guess I got two of them, so we'll just go ahead and do it. I feel like that's what the tutorial wants me to do, at least, so... I feel like later it might be better to wait. Oh, hey, it looks good. Nice. Oh. Or maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Rose and Marine! Yeah, where'd she go? What was... Was that her name? Oh, she's probably sleeping in, like, the barn outside, isn't she? 
I can't believe she tied it up and just left like that. I didn't even give her anything to eat last night. The poor thing. Uh, no, where could she have gotten to? Yeah, she's probably, probably sleeping back there. Yep. Had a feeling. Having her sleep out here like she's an animal. For goodness sake. There you are. Elise. Elise. <sighs> Honestly, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid to get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. Sorry, I... Are you taking me to the village to get burned? Who do you take me for, some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I, I didn't mean to be such a brute, truth be told. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for what I did too. Oh, I got it, all that's dead and buried. Now I'll come, I'm running late for Sunday mass. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a little heart with her. Oh, wait for me, Elise. I know you have to make relationships with people in this game, too. I guess uh, you probably do have to earn hearts with people. Probably just depends on exactly how you answer questions and stuff. I guess some of them might just automatically be given to you, though, based on the story. Flock. Like this one. Flock. Um, flock. What does that mean? It's like German or something. He's a little guy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, he's so cute. He's a little goat. Aww. Oh my god, is he missing an eye? Okay, so it's like her pet, I guess. I do think goats are supposed to like represent like evil or like the devil or something in the Bible. I feel like the more and more I see, the more it kind of is seeming like she's a witch. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that R2. Where have you been? Hmm. Um, you know this goat? Uh, of yeah, course. of course. We met on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yeah, we were. We were. Uh, oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? He is really cute. I th I love goats. I think they're just the cutest. Cuddliest little thing, you say? Anyway. Um, anyway, I gotta get going, especially baby goats, they're so cute, they don't even know how to walk, they're just like tripping and stuff, oh, they're so adorable. Wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, Flock. Like, Flock or Flock, eh? Huh. I have to say, you did a decent job at tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to do. Oh, I'm oh, so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, a little star, too. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. I kept a, I kept me up for hours last night thinking you'd... Oh, shush it. I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, I have some bread. You must be hungry. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. Oh, another heart. You are too kind. I guess it makes sense, too, if you give, like, gifts to uh, raise up hearts. You know, like Stardew. For goodness sake. Good grief. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Oh, yeah, you know what? Elise is kind of tsundere. That's what she... That's the trope she reminds me of. Especially with, like, the... Oh, goodness gracious. A little blush you. Called you a thief. Made you do my bidding and whatnot. <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me right out the moment they found me, but you didn't. I have really low expectations for people. I can tell. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading right. out. Don't wander about and don't make a mess. Okay, she's not going to mass with me. I won't, Elise. Wasn't sure if she'd want to or not. Ah! Okay. I can date the girls in this game. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that raised so many more points with me. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head and schedule a romantic date for later. Okay. <laughs> nice and nice. Time to date the girly slay. Finally. Doing what Persona was too afraid to do. Giving us gay dates. God bless. Oh, man. I guess we haven't met the other girls yet. So I don't really know who I'll like the best. But I can't save, can I? I guess I'd have to go back to that bird if I want to save. You lose one bread for each time period that passes by. That's six bread a day? Oh, my God. I thought I was going to be like one bread per day. This <laughs> is skip Sunday mass to go on a date with her. Ah, uh, before you go. Huh? I'm a I have something to tell you if if you could come meet me later today. Um, what's keeping you from telling me now? Um, well, it's important, so, uh, bless you. I'll be in the back by nightfall, all right? 
For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? Um, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. Ugh, I love it. I'm so freaking excited. We get to date women in this game. Oh, I'm so stoked. Okay, let's get a mask. Meet the preacher, who I'm assuming is gonna be like basically Frollo. <laughs> That's my expectation. I think I saw a screenshot of him in like the trailer. He looked kind of evil. Oh. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Okay. Unlocked map menu. I wonder how much food's gonna cost, too. Open map. Okay, nice. Grapevine path, creek, crossroads, village entrance. My little birds. You're so cute. There you are, Elise. Another grandma. Come here, why don't you? Oh my goodness, she got a little kitty with her too. Looks like my cat Peanut. Good day, Granny Gretel. She's just like me for real. On your way to mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Gretel, for saving me. <laughs> Why don't you take a look? Are you gonna charge me for it? Don't you just wanna give them to me out of the kindness of your heart? What can I do for you, dearie? I'm by, god dang it. I thought you were gonna give it to me for free, damn it. Oh, pretzel. 10, 12. I'll just go ahead and buy some, just in case. Probably. Okay, and now I'm fucking broke. Cool. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? Do I have anything to sell? I don't think so. Grapes, bread. Oh, granny, you're fucking ripping me off, really? You just sold this to me for $10. It's lost half of its value since you touched it, bitch. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? No, I'm good. See ya. I'll eat more, Elise, and give me more money. Okay, cool, Grandma. Might be best to steal our windows and doors, old Wilhelm, just in case. Oh, there she is, alive and kicking. Made it home all right last evening, I see. Okay, they're just random townsfolk, I guess, who are concerned. The town doesn't seem too big. I kinda thought it'd be bigger since that castle looks so big in the intro. I did indeed, Mr. Bernhard. More importantly, what happened here? That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the mountains. I certainly didn't by the looks of it. Oh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass! Branches and leaves piled up high against folk stores, entire treetops, some of them. I wonder if it could have been caused by anything, like a witch being, like, you know, angry, making a windstorm or something. I don't know. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. All the alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard the wind knocking at their doors! Old Jochen says it might have been the witch herself. Oh, okay, so I wasn't totally Delulu thinking that. But, oh, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Witches! Like, have y'all even seen a witch? I feel like I could see it being, like, um, Rosen's, like, mom who's, like, the main witch. And maybe she got, like, mad because her daughter ran away from home. That's why she caused a storm or something like that. That would be my assumption, at least. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let us hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. All story events are marked with the book icon. If marked by the time icon, they'll skip one time period. Oh, okay. Okay, it did, it did show the clock, so it will skip a time period. Goodness, Elise, you look dreadful. And good morning to you, Miss Bertha. Jesus, you look like shit. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elise, you know, since you're a heathen. Why wouldn't I miss Audley? My Elise, you do look quite tired. Wouldn't catch a wink out of wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Mm. Um, not at all. It seems you folks had it worse than I did. My, now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. Okay, she wasn't trying to pick a fight with me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so used to, like, old church ladies being like... It's like, oh, you know, I just thought you were a heathen into drugs and anime and booze. How so, Miss Audley? Oh, I've had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what? Oh, the witch! Oh, Audley, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, Marielle. All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness, what Kieferberg has come to. After you, Elise. Hmm. The woodland, hi. Okay, I guess that might be getting my character interested in, like, checking out what's going on. Oh, hey, there's something else over there, too. An item, I think. Okay, let's listen to Frollo. 
Oh, Freya, are you gonna be another love interest? Um, good morning, Elise. God, those ankles. <laughs> Why do they look like that? Evergreen sweetheart, Freya. Sorry, I chose me going to date with tonight. How are you always so cheerful, Freya? Um, you took so long. I thought you weren't coming. I overslept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, oh me neither. All because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Um, your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. What the hell? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Sniffing it helps me sleep better. And it leaves such a lovely... Smell, I guess. Just keep quiet, you two! Uh, I'm oh, I'm sorry, sorry Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> we best focus now, Elise. You. You're the one wittering on, Freya. Okay. I wonder if I locked out of a date since I chose already to go on a date with Rosen. Hopefully not. Mm. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Oh, I thought they were honestly going to be worshipping like a goddess or something since... What'd she call that lady earlier? The something or another? Maybe it's just like Catholicism. I don't really know that much about Catholicism. May the hallowed Saint Walpurga take heed of our prayers. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Walpurga is actually a part of Catholicism and it just went over my head. Amen. This Saturday we will once be... We will once again be celebrating our patroness, Saint Walpurga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I'm aware of what transpired last <sighs> night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these strong times. And you know the best way to show compassion is to donate to your local church. Pass around that, uh, that donation bowl. Go on, sister. I'm just waiting for it, honestly. Let us trust St. Walpurga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Is St. Walpurga, is she just the nun chick? She's just like a donator or something? I can't tell. Amen. If only I knew anything about Catholicism. <laughs> Maybe that would help. Okay. Girl, how small are these loaves of bread? Gosh, she could literally die in one day if I didn't feed her enough. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Lebu... Leb... Lebkuchen. I feel like she's gonna be, like, the sussy one. I guess just because she's a part of the church, and I feel like the church in a lot of stories is kind of sussy. I guess maybe she just reminded me of Kenji too, because I feel like, out of anybody, I kind of want to romance her the most. But honestly, it might just be because she reminds me of Kenji because she's related to the church. And the fact that she's probably most likely to be suspicious. She seems the most likely to be a red flag so far. You guys, and you guys know that's my favorite color. All you had to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. I guess she seems nice so far, but we'll see. And I guess she's not the donator. I guess Walpurga is just like a, uh, a saint. Shigari, devotee, Lebuk, Lebkuj, I'm gonna be butchering her name. I'm gonna call her Lebby. Very funny, Lebby. Jokes aside, Elise, don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday mass? I am certain the Lord I couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, she's blushing. You're rallying me up again on purpose, Leb. Would the preacher get mad if I tried to romance her too, since she's supposed to be like a nun probably, right? <laughs> um, um, can you tell? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, for sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'd best get to work now before it gets late. Oh, she's in love with me, girl. I don't even do anything and you're already giving me a heart. <laughs> I knew you were the one I wanted to romance. Don't forget to come later, Elise. <sighs> I won't, I won't. God, she's in love with me. Okay, girly. Damn it. Unlocked relationship. Damn it. Ah, man, I gotta reload. <laughs> I wanna romance her instead. Can I cancel my date with Rosen? <laughs> Check the relationship menu. To track your suspicion levels at any time. Okay. Relationship menu. Unlock the locket to check on relationships. Your romantic relationships with Rosen, Freya, and Lebu Lebkuchen. God, I cannot say that name. Um, I couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Um, could you? Um, didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Lebukin. 
As long as you keep indulging- God, she's so in love with me, dude. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Oh, free st Oh, girl, you already- Key to my heart, girly. Pretzel. She's already giving me gifts? Oh, you brought me my- I was supposed to get you gifts! That's how these games work! Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you, Miss Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Mr. Bernhard was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are so stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. Um, I'll be there, Lev. Oh no, does that mean I'm gonna stand up, Rosen? Oh god. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. I kind of like this girl too, because since she already seems so in love with me, she might be like the closest to being a yandere. And I love yandere's, man. They're my fave. We best give word to Primadorf then. Oh, Elise, didn't see you there. Send word to Primadorf, Mr. Gustav. We're having folks from Primaldorf send a Linda hand with the festival this year, Elise. Oh, god dang it. I keep, get I keep getting the voices confused because their little face is so small. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains, alas. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. Um, she was? You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. You got you got all these chicks fawning over you. Certainly, Father. Hard work even on a Sunday, are ya? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand. You hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav. Thank you. Okay. The priest doesn't seem too bad so far. I guess he just kind of looks evil. Meet Rose and Marie at the backyard. Meet Lev Kuchin at the church tower in the afternoon. Okay, what time is it right now? Okay, morning. There it is. Okay, so I can do both. Okay, cool. I can be a player. Nice. Slay. Acquired. Oh. Well, that looks creepy. Mysterious note. Jesus. Huh. Um, there is something written on here. This looks cursed as hell. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quench thou shall be on the Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its... <laughs> <laughs> it says it's a prayer, but it's got all this dark energy emanating off of it. May this prayer find its restful place in thy bearing grove. A prayer. Huh. There is something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crossroads. I wonder who dropped this. What a fucking weirdo. Okay. I was like, what is that supposed to be? Like, creepy cult symbol or something. Investigate the notes further. I guess the crossroads, wouldn't that be where, like, the arrow and stuff was? I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Holly passed. Not that they ever did anything anyhow. Guess that's when she lost her religion when her grandma died. Kept burning in the wake of a prayer. Each candle's flame flickers in serene devotion. I wonder why she goes to church then. Is it just to see her uh, GF? Or is it just to keep on good terms with, like, the preacher and stuff? Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'll have to work all day until the evening. Okay, I guess I could maybe go on a date with this girl, too. Each day has six time periods, but only three are working periods. Morning, afternoon, dusk. Wait, afternoon? I need to, I need to be with my girly, though, then. Okay, I guess that might be when I end up skipping all goals marked with the time icon will skip the time skip one time period okay i'll have to use my time wisely it seems like what's up girly uh, oh my god <laughs> okay she's even more in love with me than the church girl <laughs> i didn't even say anything yet i'm already getting hearts girl uh, elise i was i was waiting for you um waiting for me i almost forgot to give you this okay another gift being showered with gifts right now Ooh, ointment you mentioned your hands were feeling dry right oh you didn't have to freya i use it right before bed every night it does wonders for the skin i put a little lavender in there too she loves lavender wait you made this a homemade gift okay i'm glad i'm glad i'm trying to give you a chance too you made this yourself 
Of course I did, silly. God damn, everybody's in love with our girl. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. Her dad seems nice too. He'll make a good father-in-law. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Uh, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, um, Elise? I was wondering. I'm gonna pick up, oh no, I gotta decide. Damn it. I gotta, I'm going to pick up some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Um, flowers. I thought maybe you might care to join me. Um, I don't know if you would like, maybe. I don't know, it's, it's stupid, it's stupid, never mind. All right, I'll be there for you. I hope they don't get mad at me. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. Ah, oh, damn, she's so down bad. Now I kinda wanna hang out with her. Uh, her and the church girl are both so down bad. Um, what's gotten into her? Oh my god, my Riz is unbelievable. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Current, help Ariane with the chicken, help Elma with the apples. Okay, I can just decide who I wanna help, I guess. I guess I get money from it. Time for work. All available tasks are marked with the broom icon. Each task, each task you do will skip one time period. Probably should work, I need bread money. God knows, she eats like 50 pounds of bread every day. The better you do, the better your reward. Do your best and spend your tea wisely in the shops. I'm glad you dropped by, Elise. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full tied up after all that windstorm, you see? I can lend you a hand with that, Mr. Miss Ariane. <laughs> For a price! <laughs> I was hoping you could fetch me some eggs from the coop. Of course, I apologize. Am I gonna get paid for this though, girl? <laughs> have me rather busy myself. Oh, that's all right. I'll have Frey or even Heinrich see to it later. I suppose, my apologies. Oh, what am I gonna do with all this work? Let me see. It's probably the same either way, but just in case. I wanna make sure I'm not getting ripped off. I gotta explore my options, you know? You gonna mention payment? Ah, oh, you've come by just in time, Elise. You seem a little anxious, Miss Alma. How can I not be with all this rubbish scattered about town? Anyhow, won't you fetch me some apples? I'm not gonna mention money. I have other things to concern myself with. You've always had a liking for wasting- <laughs> Okay, bitch, now I'm definitely gonna help Ariana Grande. You've always had a liking for wasting my time, that's what. Um, clearly I've got nothing better to do all day. Let me know if you change your mind, you hear? Okay, bitch. Oh, another shop, too. Ooh. Can I romance Wilma? <laughs> I like her a lot better than the other options. Damn. Not with her freaking, like, smoldering at me, too. Ugh. What's up, Wilma? <laughs> Damn it. They never let you romance the hot ones. What can I help you with, darling? Matches, bandages, ointment, grape juice, Saint Walpurgis oil. Oh, I guess it's for sanity. I heard you can lose sanity in this game, too. Plus two hearts. Oh, oh my god. Freya is such a... She's such a homie that gives you two hearts. Oh my god. Bye, Wilma. I wish I could romance you. Bye, Miss Wilma. One day. One day. You should come by more often, don't... If you say so. Just skip all my dates and hang out with Wilma. I don't care if I don't have a chance. I'm gonna do it anyways. Are you gonna prank Miss Wilma too, Elise? Jacob, why did you tell her? Um, what's this about pranking Miss Wilma? Oh, you're not, not my, how dare you? You are not allowed to prank my wife. It's nothing to do with you. Oh, no, you don't out with it, you little brat. Either spill it or I'll be telling Miss Wilma everything I just heard. Please, Elise, don't tell anyone. Join us then. Let's prank her together. Abafel. And deal. Hooray. Oh, I guess it'll give Miss Wilma more screen time, so that's all that I care about. <laughs> and so, what's this about? Buckets. Um, buckets. We're handing a bucket of water above the end. Uh, no, well. Actually, if it'll wet her clothes. <laughs> Now I'm just being a perfect. Oh god, I'm already so down bad. We're hanging a bucket of water above the end's front door, Elise. So that when she comes out, splash! And how are you two expecting to do this without being seen? Um, we, um, uh, well, <laughs> head empty. For goodness sake. 
No, we need... Guys, this is important. We have to do this. It's a very important matter. Oh, dude, am I stuck? I have to admit, make my day to see a bucket fall. You're not talking about the hot girl at the inn, right? I have to admit, it, make my day to see a bucket fall in that hag's head. It may be worth giving it some thought. Oh, Wilma. Okay, I got confused. Is Miss Wilma the other one? The, the bitchy lady? Ugh, I love you, Miss Wilma. Even though I don't know your name. Elma. Oh my god, there's Elma, Wilma, and Wilma? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are they all sisters or something? <laughs> Why are their names so similar? Working on a Sunday again, Elise. Sundays are for taking one's leisure. I'm afraid I can't afford to take my leisure, old Jochen. The festival is a Saturday, Elise. There won't be any shortage of work, I'm sure. Okay, the Saturday. That's probably gonna be like the end of the game, isn't it? You wanna look after yourself, Elise. Ludwig's right, we're facing a rather trying time, folks. Trying times, you say? That windstorm was a warning from the witch lass. Oh, for goodness. Oh, for goodness sake. Just like Naruto saying, believe it. I get it, girl. It's your catchphrase. You don't have to say it. Every, every dialogue read. We'll be heading out on patrol again tonight, old Joshin. Take a shot every time she says, oh, for goodness sake. As for Elise, make certain you head on home before nightfall today. May St. Walpurga's blessing be upon us, folks. Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys, Elise. Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on a Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, I happen to work every Sunday, Miss Lorelei. All right, all right, whatever you say, lassie. Say, have you seen my niece by chance? Um, Molly? I'll take it you haven't then. Um, no, I don't think I have, Miss Lorelei. She's been up to no good lately, you see? Running out begging for food, skipping class, who knows what else? I see, doing drugs, playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the back alleys. You know that's some witch shit. Nothing good to whip it, oh my god. I guess this is the olden days, huh? Nothing a good whipping can't fix anyhow. I'm gonna beat the shit out of her if you find her for me. Um, I'm not gonna tell you. I wouldn't be so certain. Jesus Christ. All these extra scenes have actually been pretty uh, fun so far. We can't all leave Kieferberg over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh, Elise, it's that witch folks keep wittering on about. The windstorm couldn't have been a mere coincidence, old Chachins. Calm down! Brunheil, think of your baby! No, I'm not one to believe such things, but... I thought we weren't burring, buying into this nonsense, Miss Bertha. Well, who are you to say it's nonsense, Elise? You're jumping to conclusions, but it is nonsense. It's kind of the same stuff, but this is more antagonistic, so... Probably a chiller answer. We all know old Jodgen's making too much of it, as usual. Oh, I hope you're right. Of course we do, Elise. It's just... Last night was so frightening. It left us all wondering. I understand, Miss Dorothea. Yet fretting like this isn't... Worrying like this won't get us anywhere. Truly, Miss Bertha, you're right. For good... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna say anymore. For goodness sake, believe it. I'm gonna be a ninja, believe it. God, I'm getting Naruto flashbacks. Okay, I think I'm gonna help out the bitchy lady, cause she's kinda funny. I'm kinda curious to learn more about the Wilma, Wilma, Elma triangle that's going on. Came to your senses, did you? Bring me those apples before noon, you bitch. Fine, if you so insist, Miss Elma, I'll do it. Ma, you make it sound as though I'm forcing you, Elise. Oh, cute! How many apples do these folks need anyways? Okay. Fat, running low on Tiffle. Oh, is that the name of the currency? Oh! Oh, I got a little minigame! Okay, cute! That's kind of reminds me of the Sonic game. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. How do I move? Okay. <laughs> oh, that scared me! I was like, is it starting? I can't move! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Round one! Kind of like a Mario game. There really was one where you like catch apples or something. Oh wait, is that bad? Oh, you don't want to get the purple ones. Oh shit, okay, no. Oh no, oh no. What the fuck is that, a toilet? <laughs> Try not to catch the fucking uh, toilet somebody's throwing off the tree, Elise. <laughs> is that you, Miss Elma, you bitch? I knew you were fucked up, but I didn't think you would stoop to this level. 
<laughs> Round two. What's the purple stuff? Like rotten apples? I thought it was like grapes at first. I guess it could be like poison apples. Oh, God damn it. They want to feed poison the town yet. They're not trying to burn me quite yet. Oh, shit. Um, oh, yay. Nice, nice, nice. Yay. Be -be 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 -be. Score 109. That's probably okay. Eh, I guess it's a B. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it for my first time. Continue. Oh, do I get money? Oh, I can try again. Oh, for more tea? Nah, I'm good. I don't want to lose money. I'm trying to gain money. Pass! <laughs> Yay, Bronze Star. You did it, I. This will do, I suppose. I would have been better off asking Freya instead for- oh, Shut the fuck up. Why didn't you ask her then, you bitch? Oh, I will next time. You're the first one I'm gonna curse if I do become a witch. This entitled old hag. Did I give you money for that? Nothing? Am I just a fucking slave to you people? Oh, hey, is this, um, Wilma? Oh, Wilma. There you are, lassie. Here I am, Miss Wilma. You've heard, I'm sure, about the windstorm, yeah. Oh, to hell with that nonsense. I'm talking about the festival. And um, what about it, Miss Wilma? My Elise, I didn't take you for a simpleton. What do you take me for, then? <laughs> Man, these sisters are kind of bitchy besides my perfect angel, Wilma, who's done nothing wrong in her entire life. What do you take me for, then? I'd appreciate if you didn't insult me, Miss Wilma. Why, you're acting as though I called you a witch, Elise. I would never. Sure, sure, damn. Maybe I shouldn't have antagonized her. I wouldn't put it past you at this point. My, is this a threat? It's too bad I'm not a proper witch, wouldn't you say? Damn! You ought to not say such things, Elise. How distasteful can you get, you little? And whatever you say, Miss Wilma. <laughs> Damn it! She was being a bitch, though, in my defense! In my defense, she was asking for it. Hey, Bessie, I didn't mean all that. I would throw her in the well if I fucking could. Man, I really not get any money for the Apple mini game. Oh, no, I did. Okay, I didn't see it go to my bank. Hey, what am I to do, Elise? Father Hans knows what's best for us, Audely. Is everything all right, Miss Mar Marlin? I don't know why, but I feel like Miss Audley is gonna die. I feel like she's too suspicious. She's just, like, saying too much, you know? But with the said, I came from the woodland. For oh, my God, for fuck's sake, Audley. <laughs> How many times are you gonna mention this? You say it almost as much as I say my catchphrase. Oh, Josh has been wittering about all this nonsense, you see? Oh, we need to convince Father Hans to tell us the truth. What truth, Miss Audelies? Father Hans can't help us. Eh, that looks sussy. That looks a little sussy. What truth? I believe you can. <laughs> I'm putting my tinfoil cap on. Father Hans knows as much as we do anyhow. Old Stefan warned us last. He said that we... Uh, for goodness sake, hey, that's my fucking catchphrase, how dare you? For goodness sake, old Stefan was on his deathbed. We can't keep on clinging to his gibberish. You may be right, Marlin, yet I still... Gather your prayers and compose yourself now. Oh, I suppose. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, okay, at least I erased some of it. Whew, clean slate yet again. What's the matter, Miss Muriel? Poor Audley, is he losing her wits? You see, this is, this is exactly why I think she's gonna die. They're like, oh, she's gone crazy. And then she's gonna, they're gonna be like, maybe we should listen to her. She's rather superstitious after all. I suppose it could be bad considering her age. Truly, she's been coming in and she's been coming in out of the alleys too. I suppose she's spreading over the damage, but. Are you done with the cleanup, Miss Ariane? Uh, it's taken a while, but it's coming along. Oddly, won't last a week carrying on like this. Oh, damn. <laughs> Death lag. Without our support, I'm afraid, chill. Okay. Oh, this is how I can look at it. Okay, it seems like they all have equal hearts, too. Oh, they are so cute. Is suspicion good? That kind of seems bad. <laughs> it's like, why is there so many witch hats? I feel like that's not good. There she is. Oh, we're we'll looking at the view together. It's kind of romantic. There she is. Spend time with her. Oh, damn, I'm going through my bread pretty fast, aren't I? I'll get some more bread after this one. Rather cute, aren't you? Ooh, girl! <laughs> Already calling me cute? My, there's no need to run, Elise. Shush it, you. Who's running? You. All the blush. <laughs> <laughs> Did they know that I'm dating all three of them? <laughs> You're always like this, Levy. I can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elise. Her 
goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. Even when you say that dumbass catchphrase. It's such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful from Father Hans, are you? You remember when we'd sneak up here at nighttime? To look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels. As if I'd ever forget huh. that. Or that night that old geezer caught us. <laughs> like, what kind of gay shit is going on up here? You'll never let that one go, will you, Elise? That wretch had me on my knees, praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? Okay, so she doesn't get along with Father Hans, it seems like. What's there to see? You're the one who's put up with him for too long the way I see it. It's not as though we've never been at odds with each other. Oh, spare me. You think I'm short of complaints? Indulge me. Oh yeah, let's shit talk, bestie. Why don't you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's screaming up for the rooftops. Bad geezers like you belong in the pit pin, you oinker. What the hell did you just say? Oh shit, he's down there. <laughs> Levy! <laughs> I didn't mean for you to go that far. He'll never hear us from up here, Elise. <laughs> All right, but you're the one getting the lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now. I, I don't want to do it. I'm going to get hung. You're so ugly. Not even Saint Walpurga can save you, you ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Dare tell me my hair is too long again. I'll chop this ever left of yours, you old weasel. Ha, oh, you're bald, baldy. Oh, you drug him to filth. Did he really tell you that? Uh, for a clergy woman, that is. Okay, clergy woman. So she might be able to date then. Who cares about some made up rules, Lab? Aren't you feeling a little lighter after all that, Elise? I can see you needed it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm no saint after all, despite my veil. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Leb. Huh. It suits you much better than that dust cloth on your head. <laughs> my, you're such a charmer, Elise. All it does is weigh you down. It makes you, like, gloomy, too. I guess all the... <laughs> I guess all the girls in this town just love Sundares. <laughs> that's why they're all sipping so hard for Elise. <laughs> It's all their favorite trope. How do I look without it then? Um, you're such a killjoy, Levy. You know, I can't compliment you. That goes against my character. Anyhow, Elise, it's best we move along, wouldn't you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lab. I'll be there. Okay, nice. Heart piece acquired. Yay, building love. Okay, cool. I wonder how this affects the ending. I guess there's like three characters, so there's like three potential romantic endings. And then I guess, I don't know what the other endings would be. Probably like a death ending. Which would be like uh, one of the ten two, so it's like four. I don't know what the other ones would be though. You'll get a love heart after every successful date. Check your progress in the relationships menu. Can we have an unsuccessful date? I need to have a word with you, Elise. Maybe I'll give him more of like a monotone voice. He seems very like, oh. It has come to my attention that you went home rather late yesterday, you witch. Oh my goodness sake! <laughs> Could you please, for God's sake, stop saying that? Bernhardt and Ludwig are quite concerned about you. My apologies, Father, but it wasn't just my own fault. Whose fault was it then, would you say? Miss Elma's! Obviously, probably I understand, right? Because there's gonna get sus if I do that. I understand. It's water in the bridge, father. I would like to let it go. Although that's rather reasonable, Elise. Kieferberg has no need for conflict. The town is tense enough as it is. I understand, father. We must all make allowances for each other. If you say so, father. Elise. I said I understand now, if you'll excuse me, Jesus. Okay, nice. I'm surprised you haven't lent a hand today, Elise. It's a Sunday, Miss Bertha. We all have time on our hands. Oh, is that so? Why don't you come and tidy up my kitchen then? I could certainly use the time. Come now, it's not as though the lass hasn't been working all day. Yeah, for real. God, everybody hate me in this stupid town. Doing what? Collecting eggs? Doing whatever it is folks need, Miss Bertha, as always. You two will never see eye to eye. Do I see eye to eye with anybody besides the girlies in this town? <laughs> besides my girls? Okay, I don't know what I should do today. Help Marlon with the apples, play kiss the rat with the kids. 
I guess I could do the Rose and Marine one. I just feel like I should probably focus on like one character per each playthrough. Uh, $10? Oh, let me try. I don't know. I should probably, I think I'm gonna do the apple thing. Anything else? Some pretzels? No, fuck off. See ya, granny. Let me know if you need anything else, sucker. There we go. I'll eat two. God knows I need it. I need to make like $60 a day, basically. Yeah, so I gotta work twice no matter what. So it's $10 for bread and I have to eat six bread pieces every day, then yeah, I gotta, I gotta work. <laughs> Has Miss Walheim shut herself in again? We told her we'd be coming by, but chances are she's up to no good again, the old donkey. He'll be meeting his maker sooner rather than later at this rate. Oh Jesus, who are we talking about? Mr. Wilhelm. Okay, I said Mrs. My bad. <laughs> I feel like 90% of the people in this village are women, so <laughs> just keep getting confused. If only you did even half of what he does at his age. You're one to talk, you. Isn't he one to nap on Sundays? We've been knocking, but he's deaf as a log. We'd best come back later, lads. Carrying all that wood out of the alleys without his card is a little. To hell with it, Flynn. He can get Gustav to lend us a hand. Eugene, too, if it's still about town. Ah, oh, damn, it's like one of those things where, like, um, some of them you can do, like, during other times, and then some of them you can't. So maybe it's like you could have technically done the apples during, like, the evening or the afternoon, but you can only do um, the egg one during the afternoon. I think it might be that. I guess we can go on a date with Rosen, then. Since, yeah, I don't think I can get any more money. Rosen Marine! There you are, Rose Marine. Please. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. Look. I still had to head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? <laughs> oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. A little too early for the stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Hmm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's important I set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. Um, what do you mean, Rosemarine? I was like, yeah, I feel like that's kind of ominous. <gasps> um, you see, Elise? Okay. Oh, what the? I've dreamt about... <laughs> okay, she's pretty down bad for me, too. <laughs> I thought she was the only one that wasn't down bad for me. I've dreamt about you before. About Kieferberg, too. Um, last night? Or, <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> I know this may sound weird, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kyfer. What the? <laughs> okay, maybe she's gonna be the closest thing to a yandere. I saw you in my dreams and I traveled here. Pissed off my witch mom and that's why she made the windstorm. I didn't act. I didn't quite stumble upon Kyferberg by accident. Um, what do you mean, bestie? Do you believe in fate, Elise? God dang. Elise has the craziest riz ever. Um, I don't know. I've never given it much thought. I feel like she's just like rolling with the punches. Like, she's not even trying to flirt with these girls. And they're all just like, please marry me. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... It's fate. I've always known my fate was with you. <laughs> oh, she is immeasurably down bad. Fate was with you, Elise. Uh, ha. Huh. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> this is giving like... I love you. Um, thanks. <laughs> Did I just get rejected? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. Yeah, you maybe should have waited like another hour or so before you dropped this one on me. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... Rosemarine. I don't understand, Rosemarine. Ready for what? <laughs> Marriage! <laughs> You'll know in time. Um, what's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemarine. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... <laughs> oh my god, this... <laughs> oh my god, this art, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, it's so shoujo. Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Mm. Nostalgic, you say? <gasps> your name, your voice, your home, this breeze, even. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. Rosemarine. That's not possible, Rosemarine. It's you. The stars told me about Elise. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I ever heard such fucking nonsense. And yet, oh, she's so smooth. I'm covered in goosebumps. 
I can tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. Damn, I did not expect Rosemarine to be the most down bad. Rosemarine, I... I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer, if that's all right. <laughs> I promise I won't be late for supper. All right, I don't know, maybe I will be romancing her instead. Don't stay out here too long, you hear? Yes. I won't, I won't. She's so mysterious. Okay, girl, you really caught my attention. You were the one I was like the least interested in before. Yay, heart piece acquired. Nice. Another, another hour passes, another loaf of bread. Okay, time to check out the creepy ass letter. Oh Jesus, it's so dark. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. I'd best head over to Miss Gretel's to see Lebby. Oh, we're seeing Lebby? What about our thing? Oh, that's later? Okay. There you are, Lebby. You are a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know, they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too? What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop. Elise! It's all nonsense, Leb. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. Oh, sweet, I get free bread? Oh. Oh my god, I feel like all these girls are like, they keep giving me stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, who do I like more? <laughs> you guys just keep giving me free stuff and I'll keep thinking about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rosen, you better be giving me like five pieces of bread later. I don't care if you're poor. Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. <laughs> I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen tonight. Cool, cool. Um, that's, <laughs> that's ominous. You need to look after yourself more, Elise. Levy has always had a talent for figuring things out, but is this her intuition again, or? Unless she knows something, I don't know. Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I'll see you tomorrow, Leb. Ah, oh, Elise, welcome back. <sighs> I brought some bread, let's settle down and eat. Okay, nice. Beow. Music's so nice in this game. Very atmospheric. Would you like me to start making dinner for us tomorrow, Elise? Yeah. Um, that's not a bad idea in and of itself, but she's like already becoming my wife. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell those other bitches to move aside because I'm basically already wiped up. I'm gonna clean your house, do your dishes. How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Oh, uh, you got granny issues too? Oh my god, we're literally soulmates, see? Well, I suppose I didn't, it can't do much harm. Right. On that note, Rosemarine, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Oh, she's not gonna get the grandma's room? Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. <laughs> Oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. Yeah. Elise is such a tsundere. <laughs> just like trying to be nice, but she's like, I just can't have you bringing dust in. Yeah, that's it. It's not because I like you or anything, Baka. I've had my fill of a running about looking for you day and night. But... Oh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. Oh, shush it. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? It would be nice if she gave her the grandma's room, but I guess I understand why she wouldn't, you know, since it probably like means a lot to her. I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemarine? Um, hear what? I'm taking- <laughs> Girl, what do you think you're gonna be able to do with a broom? <laughs> you stay here just in case. I guess you beat the crap out of Rosen earlier. I guess we'll see. Okay, find the source of the noise. Oh wait, did I see something? Oh, what the fuck is that? Muffy. It's you. Muffy? Look, that sounds kind of familiar. Oh yeah, it was this girl. Eek! Please, spare me, Elise. Muffy. What in the Lord's name are you doing here, Miffy? Oh, Miffy, that's what her name was. <laughs> I was you know. out on a stroll, I swear, I swear on my auntie's name. That's so. Uh, and you just don't happen to hide behind my house. I see. Um, who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then, don't you? Yeah. Um, what are you doing here, Mandy? Is that her nickname, I guess? Like, what kind of name is Miffy? Mandy is her, her nickname? Kind of weird. Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. <laughs> ah! I'm, it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd best... I'm with it. I saw her. 
Oh, shit. Mm -mm -mm. I know she looks like a witch, but she's pretty, okay? So let's not let's not do anything rash. I, I saw her. That girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. Mo I guess at least just not remember her name. Is that is that what it is? Jesus Christ, I know I have a weird name, but come on, at least try, girl. Molly, she's not from around here. Even I can tell. You were having a supper together in everything. <laughs> Are you? Oh my God, you're living out my lesbian dreams. I'm so jealous. Okay, I thought you were gonna report her for being a witch, but I guess you're just simping. You keep your mouth shut, Mubby, or all. Oh, why don't you share some of that bread you got, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. Okay, so it's blackmail. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. Thank God I got some from uh, Levy earlier. Get on my hair, girl. Ugh. If hair is much the word about this, Molly, I... Oh, boy. Golly, Elise. Why don't you bring me a pretz... Fuck this I hope the witch gets your ass. Out with it. Mouth is shut or I'll throw you in the well. Eek. Oh, God, I was like, I kind of want to check and see if my... If any of my hats went down. I think I had 10 last I saw. And don't come back or else. For goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Um, is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Rosemarine. Uh, oh, sorry. Elise, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. <laughs> Did you start fretting now, too? Do you think she'll tell anyone? Mm. If she does, we could be... In trouble, I know, Rosemarine. I'm sorry, I... It's a Rosen Marine. Shush it, oh, you. shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm heading back inside. Yes. I'll call you what I want. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Man, that little girl sucks. Fulfill the daily request for food items and keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Fucking Muffy, dude, this bitch. Avoid suspicion. Mind what you say and do your best to avoid raising suspicion towards Elise or bear the consequences. Get <laughs> killed by the townspeople. Okay, so I guess 10 is good then? Is that like the max, like, less suspicion? I don't know, you just think that getting witch hats would be like a bad thing. I kind of assumed that it would be like, the more suspicious they are, the more witch hats you get, but it doesn't really seem like that. Okay, I guess I just go to sleep. You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. Um, of course. I wanna, come on, let him stay in here. He's so cute. He's just a little guy. <laughs> I would have him on my bed cuddling with me. I left the door ajar so he can go out and about if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? <laughs> Why, the bed I made him, of course. You want to see it, Elise? <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. Okay. <laughs> is this better than the granary? <laughs> it doesn't really seem like it, Jesus. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Uh, I was literally doing that before. For goodness sake. You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> or am I? I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket. I mean, it's not really that expensive. I don't see what's so funny. Please. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now, and why I'm in love with you. Shut up, you. Oh, shut up. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too, and a candle. Thank you. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosemarine. Good night. Okay, cute. I guess those hearts don't actually mean that I'm getting, like, an actual heart with them. I don't think so. I think it has to be, like, in the free time events or whatever. Yeah, I just got one with her, so... It'd be like that, it'd be like that. I guess I could be getting like a tiny amount of favor from them, but eh, it's hard to know. For goodness, girl, if you say that one more time, what am I getting myself into? First I agreed to house Rosemarine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town, go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace or like a mansion where I have maids and servants wait on me always. You know, just something, just a humble dream like that. No biggie. Where I can live the life I deserve. I feel you, girl. Same. Okay. Oh, here we go. Is this the creepy forest part that I saw in the trailer? 
Here we go. Okay. Oh, what the hell? We actually living in her dreams? <laughs> oh my god, I'm loaded all of a sudden. Sweet, finally. Um, where am I? Is, is this a dream? I was like, is Rosemarine gonna show up? I was like, I wonder if it's her doing this. Like, she could be magical or something. Since so she does seem to be a witch, maybe. Possibly, allegedly. Hello? Let's rob the chest before we leave. It's locked, it seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. Damn it! <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. What's this? Oh, what is this? Oh, what the? Golden girl. Rebirth, birth. That's what I wished for. Long, long ago, go. You wanted to be reborn? Somewhere safe. Somewhere far, far away. I went through all their trials. Gathered all of his gifts. Somebody who did this before me? Doesn't really seem like it worked out too well for her since she seems to be a ghost, but you know. And? Indeed, I was reborn in death. My wish was granted yet. Um, yet? To think I would end up like this. <laughs> no spoilers, bye. Wait, what was that? Yeah, basically. <laughs> no spoilers, deuces. Acquired one grape. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my sanity's going down. Keep Elise from feeling frightened with sanity healing items or she might go mad. She only lost a little bit of sanity though so far. So we're doing good, right? I think, um, whatchamacallit? I think it's the grapes. No, that is heart. Oh God, I don't, do I have anything for sanity? Ointment, no. <laughs> That's also heart. I was like, maybe the ointment, nope. <laughs> cool, I guess I'll just suffer. I am locked in here, I suppose. I can't say I minded much, if I'm honest. I feel like I'm in a princess bedroom. If only I could live here, just like I've always dreamed. Oh shit! What the hell? What the? I didn't even do anything. Okay, cool. There are all sorts of dangers lurking in the shadows. Use healing items to persevere and survive. Okay, cool. What was I supposed to do? I guess I was just supposed to get uh, knocked out there. Acquired one silver key. Using the items in your inventory can have effects on the environment. Try using them on it. Doesn't seem like this is what I should be using here. Oh, really? I guess it is for the chest. Whatever works, I guess. I'm cool with getting free stuff. There we go. Oh goodness, so many dresses. Another key, I wonder what it's for. Can I take the dresses and sell them? <laughs> Golden key. Come on, just a little bit. <laughs> I need bread. I need bread so bad. Pretty. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh shit. What's that laughing? What is the I'm kinda scared to click on stuff. I feel like I'm gonna lose my sanity more. It's such a strange statue. The marble statue is a crow wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads. Am I in hell? <laughs> Maybe I'm the witch's house, actually. It's such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate means Aziel. It's kind of what that looked like. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, cool. Love what you're doing with the place, girly. Is that my bow? Kind of looks like it. Ah, it just looks like a place I can save. Nice. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. We shall see. We shall see. Oh man, those candles are scary. What is this? What in the Lord's name is this place? Ah, oh, yeah, the, the floor looks a little like, I don't know, trippy too. <laughs> is it just me? Oh yeah, it is, because like the carpet's going that way too. What are those things? Those things, do I gotta fight something? Feeling lost, don't forget to turn on your lantern and keep an eye out. Oh wait, it's the candles? Do I gotta fight the candles? Oh shit, oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh god. Four keyholes, oh shit, that means there are four keys, I'd wager. Oh, oh shit, oh god, oh god, okay, wait, wait, what do I do, what do I do? Um, it doesn't seem to be working, huh? It's like, how do I light the lantern? These are all in different languages, I can't make sense of any of these titles. Oh no, oh no, oh no, shit, what am I, am I supposed to, I don't really totally know. Okay, well at least I got one key. Phantasm key. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. 
I don't know, I guess I just avoid them. <laughs> I was like, I was like, maybe if I look at the log, I can see the instructions, but I was like, I don't know, I can't seem to, I can't seem to get it to work. So maybe I just try my best to avoid these candles. Oh, they got like a little circle around them. Maybe if I don't step in the circle, I'm okay. Need to be going up and down though. Oh shit, nope, yeah, that is it though. Oh yes, finally. Whew, it's jammed. I think I need four keys. I could try to pry it open, but I force it open, I guess. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Phantasm key, thank you, Jesus. Oh, shit. Um, it's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Maybe if I go up, oh, hey, another one, cool. Yeah, I just need one more, I think. That's, uh, that looks like me. I guess, oh, is this like the house I grew up in before I got, I don't know, given away and picked up by grandma? I guess maybe. Oh, God dang it. Oh, am I the witch, actually? Maybe I'm like the witch's daughter, now that I think about it. That's me. I, like, I feel like this is probably the witch's house, right? It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but yeah, let's just force this. Yes! Oh, what the? <laughs> What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold bathed glory. That is true. That do be me. Ah oh, man, I was hoping that was the last key. Damn it. Okay, I follow him. And then I go up, I think. Actually, I'll probably just wait here, right? It's one of those things where I just gotta be patient. Just not a patient person. Okay, yeah, that's it. Can I? Oh, there we go. Item, get bandages. Okay, cool. I guess I just had to like, kinda hover on it a certain way. Those books kinda look weird down there, the gold ones. I wonder if that's anything different. There's something on the back of the shelf. I have to reach out my arm to get it, but... Girl, go for it. This is key, 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 key. Yes! Okay, thank God. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Yes, let's get the fuck out of here, girly, before you get hit again. Yay. This is it! It worked. Nice. Okay. Where are we gonna end up? What? Um, am I in purgatory? Where am I? I must be dreaming. Just the middle of darkness. Oh shit. Not the lights. No more, please. I beg. I beg of you. Um, do I move? Okay, I can move. Uh, don't want to get too close to those. Oh hey, it's the castle I dreamed of, right? See girl, you got it. <laughs> you got what you dreamed of, girly. And it's chasing you. Oh shit. What is that? Hurry now, hurry now! We're late for his banquet! Who is he? What are you? Hurry, hurry! Maybe I should give him like a British accent. <laughs> oh, he's kinda cute! Hurry, hurry! You've got to meet him! Whoever he is! Oh, wow! A little pumpkins too! <laughs> this is very Halloween themed, it kinda feels like, with all the pumpkins. Oh shit! <laughs> the eyes! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm tripping balls now. <laughs> Holy crap, what did Rosa Marine put in that bread? <laughs> oh, hey, it's like a ghost dancer, too. What is this? Ozzy. That's what it said on the theater. Montage. Montag Monday 2. Oh, I wake up! <laughs> that was the trippiest dream ever. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna have Rosamarine cooking for me ever again. A dream? Uh, that left me feeling a little queasy. I guess the more I play along, the more I'll get to see of that world. Rosamarine? Rosamarine? Are you there? She's most likely still asleep. Anyways, uh, no point in wa waking her this early, I suppose. I wanna see if anything's wrong, though. Get ready for work. Ah, oh, there she is! Look at- She is so wifey! Please. Good morning, Elise! I would've got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early! Since when have you been up? Oh, I'm always up and about before daybreak! I can't sleep in if I try! Mm. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you! And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up. Easy. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise, which is really freaking smart, okay? <laughs> is that so? Uh... Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? 
Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? <laughs> you mean just the pile of dirt out there? Been working like a dog since Granny Holly passed, but... <sighs> Now I have you to fret about too, so I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? Please. What, you'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps? You truly are kind, aren't you? you? Oh, shush. I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then. Okay, cute. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end it here for now. Please let me know if you guys would like me to continue the series. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm definitely interested to learn more about that place we go to when she's like asleep. Seemed very creepy. I kind of do feel like she's like the witch's daughter. Now that we've seen that castle and stuff, I don't know, I feel like that's probably where she came from. Why is she seeing it in her dreams now and why it's so like disheveled and stuff? Not totally sure, but I'm definitely interested to find out more. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this game. And again, huge shout out to Square Enix and Astral Shift for partnering with me on this video. I was super excited to play this early and to get to partner with them for this. So yeah, but thanks guys so much for watching. Please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and if you'd like to see more of the series. And yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys real soon.